Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about writing equations of parallel or perpendicular lines. This is going to be probably the most difficult lesson of the week, so please, please, please try to take notes out of whatever you see on this video because the questions are almost the same, the only difference is going to be the numbers. So if you can follow the same steps, you're going to get these uh, questions done. Anyways, so this was a problem throughout the year. When we learned about the lesson in class, it's always for some reason is a pro problem. Uh, it's because many students don't want to spend the time to solve the question because it, it takes a little while. Uh, let's say I'm going to take a minute for each question in here. It's going to be longer for you guys. Let's say I'm going to take like three minutes. It's going to be about five minutes for each one of you, for many of you at first. So, and please realize that I'm going to try to show every single step. That's why, that's the reason that I'm going to take a little longer than usual. Uh, if you can get the questions done without showing less steps, I'm okay with that. Okay, so this one here, uh, we have an equation of line S. So let's just put down whatever we have, we have line S, we don't have a Lisa or lease, whatever it is. So we have a line S, let me just rewrite this. What I know about this line is it has an equation of one third times X plus two. And it has a point which is three negative five. And okay, let's read. I'm, I'm can, I'm reading the question by the way. Now the next thing that I see is that line S is perpendicular. This is important because I need to use this to line... Wait, how is that even possible? Okay, I didn't see this part. Okay, this is what happens when you don't read the question completely. It says line T includes the point 3, negative 5. It's not line S, so I need to get back, remove that coordinate from there. And then add that coordinate to the other column. This is plus 2. And then my second line is called line T. Let me put it over here. Okay, now it looks better. And line T has this point over here. 3, negative 5. And what else do I know about this purple line? Uh, line T, it is perpendicular to line S. So you need to come up with your own setup like this so you can see what you're dealing with. Now, let's think about what we can figure out in the first column. Looking at this equation, I can see its slope and I can see it is y, its y-intercept. The slope of the first line is one-third because the equation is in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay, so the relationship between these two lines, line S and line T, is that they are perpendicular, which means using this slope, I can find that slope. What was the relationship between the perpendicular slopes? They are negative reciprocal. So take this one third, flip it, and change the sign. But I don't want to have like negative 3 over 1 as a fraction. That, that looks weird. So the slope would be just negative 3. Now I have a slope and I have a point for line T. I know what its slope is. I know a point on the line. So that means I can set up my equation. Here is the uh, general point slope form. I need to use point slope form because that's all I know. I have a point on the line and I have its slope. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is the reason I need this form, by the way. Even though my question says write the equation in slope intercept form, I cannot just jump on this. It's impossible. I cannot come up with the slope intercept form because in the purple column, I don't know what the y-intercept is. I don't know how to figure that one out. What I do know, that there's a point on the line that I can use. There's a point on the line. And I just figured out that the slope was negative 3. So these two is what I have. So I need to use the point slope form. 
That's that's why I'm coming up with this line over here. So now let's plug in whatever is given. This is x1, that's y1, and this is m. So y is a variable, bring it down. Minus y1 is negative 5 equals m is negative 3 x is the variable bring it down minus is in the formula and x1 is 3 now we just need to make this look more organized it's y plus 5 because we have two negatives I don't want to have two negatives over there and now I need to distribute this because it says write the equation in slope intercept form that means get the y by itself which means in the next step I need to subtract 5 from both sides so to be able to do this I first need to distribute that negative 3 so negative 3 times x is negative 3x negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 now I should be able to subtract 5 from both sides so my final answer would be y equals negative 3x minus 4 my bad plus 4 so this would be the final answer the y is all by itself that means I have my slope intercept form and it's simplified there's nothing I can do about this equation anymore so let's move on to the next equation or next question so I guess it's going to take forever. Okay. So let's get to this one. And then I will get back one level down. Probably you will want to have one more example. Similar example. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So with this one, you have two lines. Line P and line Q. So let's just have our setup over here we have line P what I know about this one is it has an equation uh, as y equals negative 1 over 2x minus 10 looking at this I can figure the slope out but the slope is not y equals it is m equals negative 1 health so so far that's what I figured out from this sentence, this is all I figure, can figure out. Now line Q includes the point negative 9, 6. Line Q has a point negative 9, 6. So it's pretty much the same as the other one. Instead of par uh, perpendicular, this time it says parallel. So this is even easier. So if the lines are parallel, you're not going to uh, flip anything. You're not going to change any sign. It's not... Uh, negative reciprocal or opposite reciprocal you are going to use the same slope because parallel lines have the same slope so now our question is what is the equation of line Q write the equation in slope intercept form so no matter how we start we gotta end up with Y all by itself but there's only one way for us to start with since we have a point on the line and the slope of the line I need to start with point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is exactly like the previous question with one single difference. Instead of perpendicular, we have parallel lines, which means the slopes are going to be the same instead of flip it and change the sign. Now let's plug in whatever is given. So this right here is x1 that's y1 and that's the m negative 1 over 2 so y minus y1 is 6 equals m is 1 negative 1 health times x minus x1 is negative 9 so I need another negative over here since I want to end up with y by itself in the next step I need to add 6 so I want to distribute this before dealing with that plus 6 on each side so what I do is negative 1 over 2x hmm so okay before 
moving any further, let's just on the side simplify this. X minus negative 9 is X plus 9, right? And then there was this negative 1 half in front of it. So it's like I'm distributing this, which I already did, and then negative 1 half times positive 9 is negative. Multiply the numbers in the numerator. 1 times 9 is 9. In the bottom, it's just this. Or grab a calculator and multiply those two numbers. So that's my right side. The left side stays the same. I am bringing it down. One final step is adding 6 on each side so I can get the y by itself. So y equals negative 1 over 2 times x. Let me see this. Plus 3 over 2. So I will write the final answer over here because apparently I'm not able to write over there. So y equals negative 1 over 2 x plus 3 over 2. So that would be the final answer to this question. Let's do one more. I said I was going to get back down one level, but I don't see any reason because these two questions were pretty much the same. Let's just increase it by one. Looking at the question, I don't think that you're going to solve this question, guys. So let's get back down one level and then work on that question. Something similar at least. Okay. Let's work on this one. Uh, the equation for line S, so we have line S, and we know what equation it has, which is y minus 9 equals, this looks a little different, 5, and then looking at this equation, before I move on to line T, I just want to break this equation down. So looking at this, I can tell, and I hope that you can tell the slope of the equation is going to be negative 4 thirds and one of the points on this line is going to be 9 5 because this right here is x1 that's y1 this is m it's point slope form now moving on to the second sentence for line t so line t is perpendicular when you see this word you gotta come up with this idea okay if these are perpendicular and if I know the first slope I can figure out the second one flip it and change the sign that's it now and the purple line passes through 65 it passes through 0.65 what I need to do is come up with the equation of line T in slope-intercept form. So, I want to start from here. Let me just get rid of this because that's I don't need this right now. I'm not going to use it. All I'm going to use is going to be point slope form for those two. So, let's get started. This is x1, and this is y1, and that one is already labeled with m. So here is the general form again, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So now, y is the variable, minus comes from the formula, y1 is 5 equals m, we figured that it was 3 over 4, times x and minus comes out of the formula, x1 is 6. Let's distribute this. So it equals 3 over 4x minus 9 over 2. Let me double check. Yes, 9 over 2. Left side, just bring it down to get the y by itself. I'm adding 5 on each side. Bring down the left, and this goes down here. And if you add negative 9 over 2 plus 5, you are going to end up with 1 over 2. It's going to be positive. 
So that's our slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b uh, for line t. Uh, I guess that's it. Let me see. It's already been 15 minutes. So I'm done with this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you think the video helped you out to get the assignment done. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so already. And I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.